Well, welcome to this Value Med Medical Supply product demonstration video where we are just going to run you through the contents of the SP10 Male Fertility Rapid Test Cassette Pack as supplied through the Value Med website. Now, this is the box pack. You'll see it's labelled SP10. On the end, there are quick or rapid instruction detail copies. And the end pack will have the details of the product codes and CE certification. What you get in a pack is a complete home male fertility check. It includes a collection vial, a sample containing two mils of the buffer solution, a graduated syringe for you to enable collection of the correct uh, proportion of the liquefied sample, and in the foil, by all test, is the test cassette which runs the test for you. Now, the whole procedure takes around about an hour, and that is because the sample, once collected, has to be allowed to liquefy in this container for 60 minutes before the test is run. Once the sample has liquefied, the test procedure only takes a further 10 minutes. But the importance of liquefying the sample is to enable the test to run through the test cassette uh, with the buffered solution. Now the sample must be collected by masturbation. It's not advised that the sample is collected in a condom. It's uh, recommended strongly that the, the sample is directly masturbated into the sample container pot for use. The other important advice to be aware of when considering doing a male fertility test that is for optimal results, the sample should be collected after a period of a minimum of three and ideally seven days from the previous ejaculation. Now, in healthy sperm samples, that's probably not going to be an issue. But if an abnormal or low result is obtained from doing one of these tests, then that advice should be followed to get a more accurate example of the baseline sperm concentrations. And the cutoff on this test cassette is 15 million sperm per mil, which is the WHO guidance on what is considered a baseline male fertility level for normal fertility. So that's the product contents. It takes, uh, as I say, an hour after the sample is collected for you to run the test, further 10 minutes to get the results, and then you get very clear positive or negative results on the test cassette, indicating a positive or negative sample. And obviously if the test is positive, that's a normal result. If it's abnormal, then just the control line on the test uh, cassette shows, and that indicates that the sperm levels are below 15 million per mil on the sample added to the cassette at that time.